So let's say, for example, if we plug in all our numbers in our b squared minus 4ac equal negative 13. Just some negative number. Then that means that x is going to equal negative b. We'll make that negative 5. Plus or minus square root of negative 13 is square root of 13i. I'll just write square root of negative 13 all over 7. Okay, so that would equal negative 5 plus or minus square root of 13i over 7. Okay, so that would give us x can equal negative 5 plus square root of 13i over 7 or negative 5 minus square root of 13i over 7. Okay, so you have two complex solutions and they're complex conjugates of each other. Okay, so third, let's say your discriminant equals zero. So when b squared minus 4 times a times c equals zero, you actually have two repeating real solutions. Uh -oh. There are two. Technically, it makes one solution. If it's re the same solution over again. All right, so let's say, for example, if we have, let's say we calculated our b squared minus 4ac, and it ended up equals, equaling 0. So b squared minus 4ac equals 0. And we have x equals, let's say, negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 0, since that's our b squared minus 4ac, all over 2a, which make our 2a equal So that would give us x equals negative 8, negative 9 rather, plus 0 over 8, or negative 9 minus 0 over 8, which are both the same thing. You just have x equals negative 9 over 8. Okay. So you have two repeating solutions, just one solution. Well, actually, it's one repeating solution. I don't know why I put two, so... One makes more sense. So there is one repeating solution. And no S. All right. So any questions on any of those? Okay, so let's say, for example, oh, he wants to do writing. Oh, all right, I'll leave it up for a little bit. Oops, there we go. Everyone else done? All right. Okay, so let's say, for example, 
use the discriminant to determine the number and type of solutions. Okay, so let's say for problem A, you have x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Say for problem B, you have 3x squared plus 2 equals 0. And let's say for problem C, you have 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 equals 0. Okay. So we don't have to solve them. We just have to find out how many solutions each one had. Okay, so we know that b squared minus 4ac is your discriminant. Okay, so for problem A, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. We know our A is equal to 1. We know our B is equal to 2. And we know our C is equal to 1. Okay. So we don't have to plug it into the quadratic formula. You just have to plug it into there. Okay, so b squared minus 4ac is equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1. Okay, which gives us 4 minus 4 which is equal to 0. Okay, so we know since our b squared minus 4ac equals 0, there's just one solution. Or one real solution. That actually is important. So now, starting with B, you know, starting on B, you have 3x squared. And with this one, you want to write it in descending order. So you have plus 0x, about to write 0B. Plus 2 equals 0. And the reason you want to write it like that is it's really easy to make the mistake up here of saying a is equal to 3, b is equal to 2, since you're going that way. So just making that extra little 0x kind of prevents that mistake. Okay, so here, a is equal to 3, b is actually equal to 0, and c is equal to 2. So oh, actually, let me separate this up here. So, so that means your b squared minus 4ac is going to equal 0 squared minus 4 times a times c. Okay, So 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24. So you end up with negative 24. separate that a little bit okay now since b squared minus 4ac is less than zero or just negative we know you have two complex solutions two complex 
solutions. Okay, so draw a little separator there. All right, and for C, we have 2x squared minus 7x minus 4 equals 0. That means our A is equal to 2. Our B is equal to negative 7. And our C is equal to negative 4. Okay, so that means our B squared minus 4AC is going to equal negative 7 squared minus 4 times A times C, okay, which gives us 49, 16, 32, 49 plus 32, which is equal to, I don't feel like thinking, 81. Okay. So really, we didn't even have to add them together. As long as we know it's positive, that's all we needed. So since b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, or just positive, there are two distinct real solutions. I'll put it here. All right, so are there any questions on this one? All right, so we're going to go ahead and stop there.